So formation of a beta glycosidic bond, remember you've got the crucial bit here is that on the one carbon, the OH group here is up. So on the four carbon, it's still down. So here's the one, here's the four, and obviously the six is up here. If we're gonna form a glycosidic bond between one beta glucose and the other, well, the next one along is going to be the other way up. So we've still got a four carbon and a one carbon, but in order for the four carbon, which is down here, to be up and adjacent to that one, then the whole molecule has to be flipped over so it's actually upside down. So at that point, you can then form a glycosidic bond between here and eliminate H, H, and you're left with the O, so forming a H of the glycosidic bond. Now the important point about this is that if we do them as triangles to show the orientation, then they're going to alternate in which way up they are. Now that enables them to form very long straight chains. As they form long straight chains of cellulose, then those long straight chains have hydrogen bonds between them. Lots and lots and lots of hydrogen bonds. And those hydrogen bonds give it a tensile strength. And these are known as microfibrils. It's incredibly important that you refer to them as microfibrils um, in any question. Now, this enables them to have a tensile strength, which gives them the property that's so, so important. Is that in plant cells, if you have a more negative water potential, water is going to flow in, down its water potential gradient, causing the cytoplasm to swell. However, if we have a cell wall around the outside, remember the cell wall is utterly permeable to everything. It's a terribly named thing being wall, because it should be just called mesh. Um, water will enter, the contents will swell, the contents push against the cell wall, and the cell wall resists the expansion of the contents. So it puts the positive pressure back onto the contents, which gives you um, the equal water potential to the outside. So if ever you get cellulose, remember, alternating which way up it is, hydrogen bonds between microfibrils gives it this tensile strength, which means it's around the outside.